I got a uh, package today, and I these are one of these things that you know they cost like one to three dollars, and I order them, and it takes months to show up from I don't know wherever, uh, and I've totally forgotten what I ordered, <laughs> so I don't know if you ever do that, but uh, I guess I'm gonna have to put it together because uh, it doesn't say what it is. So once I get it together, I guess I'll figure out what it is. Sometimes these things work out; these mystery things work out like this. Uh, capacitance inductance checker that was a good deal or the oscilloscope the little oscilloscope I got that was a good deal uh, a lot of them are real duds and you never see those videos because yeah it's just a waste of your time anyway let's uh, put this together and see if it's worth finishing out the video on it okay all done um, yeah it looks pretty good circuit board was good components are good passable soldering job by me about an hour long um, 9 to 12 volts input and yeah it's one of those things i wish i had when i was learning electronics because for a few bucks you know back then the, the cheapest uh, function generator you could get was uh i don't know 20 50 bucks for a real piece of junk uh but anyway if this works it's gonna be uh it's gonna be pretty interesting okay so let's put the knobs on it mount it in the case and see what it does for us well, it's all done and it's uh, operating as you can see. It's only got a few things that, a uh, few parameters you can change. Over here is a jumper that takes it from sine to triangle. Uh, this is the output. So you have ground, square, sine, and triangular. So the square is always coming out and then this is the sine and triangular, which you can adjust with that. There's coarse, fine, and uh, amplitude I wanted to say altitude amplitude knob and then it goes from 1 megahertz down to 1 Hertz and you can adjust that and within each of these ranges you adjust it with the course knob you can see over here so that's the course and then you have a fine adjustment and then the amplitude which doesn't seem to work with the square wave works fine with the uh, sine and triangular waves um, but yeah, you can see me varying the frequency right there. Uh, you can also see the wave varying. So let's switch it over here to the sine triangle. And again, we will change the course. And there we go. Um, and there's the fine. And then amplitude. You can see the amplitude changes uh, a lot. So let's see, anything else that we haven't covered? Uh, it is 9 to 12 volts input, and I think that covers all of the uh, different parts. So yeah, for a few bucks, I mean, uh, if you're learning electronics or you need something on the bench uh, to supply a, uh, you know, a reasonably good wave form, this is not bad at all. Okay, well, that was it for this uh, put-together kit of a of a uh, function generator. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your DIY electronics projects.